Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a book review of a book that I received from St. Martin's Press and that book is The Other Daughter by Lauren Willig. And if you guys have been watching my channel then you will know that this was one of my most anticipated books of 2015 and I may or may not have cried when I got it in the mail when I was having a particularly bad day. So I was really excited to get into this one and to read it and I am equally as excited to tell you my thoughts about it. So what makes this book a little bit different from all the other books that Lauren Willig has written is that it only has one perspective. So if you've read any of her other novels then you will know that she usually writes from two perspectives. One is a modern perspective and the other is a more historical perspective. And this is the first one that does not have a modern perspective. And this book is set in the 1920s and it follows Rachel Woodley. And Rachel is She's just basically brought up by her mother. Her mother was widowed when she was young and Rachel's sort of brought up in this genteel neighborhood sort of town in England and she just sort of has a regular life. Her mother works and she's been taught sort of to be independent and to work things out for herself. And so she is a nursery governess in France and she finds out that her mother has passed away. And so she goes back to the cottage where she was raised to sort of go through her mother's things. And she comes across this tabloid clipping with a picture of someone who looks very much like her father. And the picture is labeled the Earl of Ardmore and his daughter Olivia. And it's dated only three months ago, but as far as Rachel knows, her dad died when she was really young. And so obviously she has a lot of questions and she wants answers and she's unsure if this is even her father. And so she goes sort of on a quest to figure out, you know, what's happened. Is, is everything that she's been taught growing up a lie? And that's sort of where the book takes off. So in Rachel's sort of quest to find out more, to get more answers, she's introduced to Simon, who is sort of a, a, a character, he's, he's got, I'm not going to say character issues, but he's, he's not the best guy, he doesn't have the best reputation, but he promises her that he can get her access to her father and to his society, and he sort of sets her up with this different identity and introduces her into the sort of rich and young crowd that would have been the people she would have hung around if she had been an Earl's daughter, maybe. And this is where one of the major themes, I feel like, of the book comes into play because Rachel is obviously struggling with self-identity because she has grown up being told she is one thing and that her parents are one thing. And so she had this, you know, clean-cut idea of who she was and who her parents were. And now she's struggling with what does it mean for her that her, her father is not who he says he was and that, that her parents were not the couple they, that she thought they were? And it's really fascinating to watch her sort of work through that self-doubt um, and that sort of trying to figure out who she is. And if you've read any of Lauren Willig's other books, then you will know that there is usually a romance component because her books do fall into the historical romance category or that's where they're often put. And so this book was definitely not without romance, but I was happy to see that it was not the focus of the book because, I mean, let's be honest, this girl has just found out that her father is not dead after like 20 years or something. And so the last thing she needs to be worrying about is romance. And so I was happy to see that while it was there, it felt natural and it was very low radar and it was not the focus at all. It was a very side plot, but it was there. So overall, I think this is probably one of my favorite Lauren Willig books. I was right to be so excited and anticipate this book so much because it's definitely one of her better books. And I think that the, the one perspective worked really well. I don't think that anything was lost that would have been gained by having a second perspective. So I think if you are a lover of historical romance. This is a no-brainer. You would absolutely do great to pick it up. If you love Lauren Willig's books, pick it up. It is so good. But I also think that there is a market for this book in YA readers because I think there are definitely themes in this and, and situations that YA readers would really enjoy. And I think that it is a book that could be a jumping off point for somebody who's a mostly YA reader to find a new genre to enjoy because I really think that this this is something that, that they could really like. 
So those are my thoughts on The Other Daughter by Lauren Willig. I hope you guys go pick it up if you are interested. Again, it is out today, July 21st, and I am so glad that it lived up to my anticipation because it was one of my most anticipated books for this year, and I'm so glad that I have it and that I've read it, and I know I will be rereading this one because I felt like there were things that I probably missed the first time around that I would get more insight into on a second read and I'm excited to read it again. It's probably going to be in my top books of 2015 so I would love to hear if you're going to pick it up or if you do once you read it I would love to hear your thoughts. Anyways that is all for today. If you want to check out my thoughts on some of her other books if you are interested in Lauren Willig just as an author I will link my author spotlight video above and I will see you guys next time. Bye!